Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Z here. And in this video today, I'm going to be reviewing the Anchor PowerConf C300, which I'm currently using right now. This is the footage that you can expect in regular office lighting. As you guys can see, I'm in my office right now. I've got the fluorescent uh, lights on top of me. And this is the quality of the video quality as well as the sound quality, since I am using the microphone currently. So if the microphone sounds like crap, then it's probably the webcam. Um, but that's with most webcams, you have the integrated uh, sound or rather the microphones that no matter how many microphones they add in there, it just, it just doesn't sound uh, that great. So you might want to get an external microphone if quality is something that you are looking for or striving for. Uh, but otherwise, this is the footage that you can expect. It's currently running at 2.1 megapixels, 1080p at uh, 60 frames per second, as well as 60 hertz. So those are the settings that I'm currently using, as well as 115 degree FOV. So as you can tell, this is a 115 FOV, even closer. I believe uh, if I go lower, it would be like 100, and then it'll get smaller and smaller. If you ever played Call of Duty um, on a PC, you get the 120 FOV slider. Um, yeah, it's, it's basically gives you like a wider field of view. That's the FOV, field of view. Um, so this is the webcam, this is the sound, this is the video footage you can expect. I'm currently using the camera app within Windows 10. You could download the Anchor, it's called the Anchor Work Software. And what that will give you is settings that you can mess with as well as saturation, the colors and all that. This is the office footage. Let's see if I'm missing anything here. You do have HDR as well, but if you enable HDR within the Anchor Work Software, then It'll only go. It'll only shoot at 30 frames per second, so you don't get that smooth. As you can see, it's very smooth, 60 frames per second. It'll lower it. It'll low scale it down to 30 frames per second, and that's a 16, 16 by 9 uh, ratio. That's the option that I'm currently using at 1080p. Also, I did want to mention that. There are other alternatives to this Anchor webcam. Obviously, uh, Anchor did send this out to me to review, so I do want to give them a, uh, a little shout out there, but there are other webcams out there that I was currently looking at. There's the one that Facebook is constantly um, showing the ads for. It's a AI 4K webcam, which actually looks pretty interesting, something I definitely want to look into, as well as uh, there's the Razer webcam, that I was looking into as well. It comes with a ring of light around it so that you have that extra light because as you as you all know, the more light that you get when shooting a video, so for example, if I turn on my little LED light here, you can see the quality suddenly turns up quite a bit. And check that out, it just the detail, the definition of the image of the video gets so much sharper. So. You might want to use a nice light that comes, um, that shoots in front. You know, wherever the webcam is, you want to sort of shine the light on the subject or on the object and you'll get so much better quality, as you can see. Um, but yeah, that's something that um, uh, every webcam should have. It should have some type of a light bar on top of it. I don't know why um, uh, manufacturers don't do that they could sort of skimp on some of the specs and just add a light and the webcam would be so much better or seem to be so much better. But yeah, that's with extra lighting. As you can see, that's my little LED there. Turn on the brightest. But that's the footage that you can expect. Anyway, so I'm going to head home now. I'm going to go to my bedroom and show you guys the footage that you could uh, that you would sort of see within a bedroom, I guess, but regular bedroom lighting. Uh, I do have this round um, LED light that I usually have it flat. I'll show you guys when I get home, but I'll show you that basically it adds a lot of light to subjects. So I'm just, it kind of aims downwards. So I'm gonna see how that looks. But anyway, sorry for my ranting. Just wanna give you guys um, a nice, idea of what can you what you could expect with this anchor webcam so anyway that's pretty much it for now i'm gonna head home and i'll show you guys some other stuff as i get home but yeah i'll see you guys later 
So before I head home, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what it looks like if I try to shoot footage with objects. Looks pretty good actually. Very interesting. And it focuses pretty quick, as you can see. If you were to film stuff overhead, it actually looks really nice. Uh, that's a lighter. Let me go to my vape device and see how that looks. Oh yeah. It definitely beats the Logitech um, webcam that I've used in the past in terms of my hands are really shaky. Hold that. Oh. oh yeah, look at that autofocus up close. Macro lens. That's really cool. Let's see what else I have here. Yeah, that's good. That's great. Very nice macro lens on there. Fantastic. Got that little bouquet effect in the background, as you guys can probably tell. Where it blurs out the background. And then... That's very nice. Just get a remote. This is regular office lighting that I'm using right now. Detail. Very cool. Hey guys, so I got home. I'm currently in my bedroom right now. As you can see in the background, my room is a complete disaster. It's a mess. As well as the foam stickers up there, everything fell down, and I just have the little sticky pads remaining, so I do have to remove that. Um, as you can tell, the sound quality is probably a lot better because I'm using my Blue Yeti right now. So I'm using, let's see if I can reach that without. So I'm currently using my Blue Yeti. This is why the sound is really good. I'm no longer using it. the microphones on the actual webcam. I do have those little dust particles floating around too. And I'm also using a light up there. As you can tell, it's this round strobe light that it's actually adding more light to the image that you currently see. And if I turn it off, that's what it looks like. And as you can see, it's a relatively sunny day outside today. Some clouds and all that. Okay, so I think I got it to work. The auto frame, it's on solo right now. So if I turn right or left, it's not actually moving it. The lens is actually just using the FOV and it's kind of zooming in and playing with that. So it's kind of like a digital movement. So if I move right or left, it kind of finds my face. If I move back, it'll zoom in. And if I move forward, it'll zoom out. It should zoom out actually, but I guess it's not. It should usually do that. For some reason it's not doing that, but as you can tell, if I move right or left, it'll play around with the FOV settings. So it's not actually moving the lens in there it's just playing with the FOV and guys this is the uh, footage that you can expect with this webcam so far I would say it's a pretty decent webcam but it is very expensive or on the more expensive side there are other options available as well that you should definitely look into but if you're looking for something with great autofocus as you guys saw before or you're going to see soon I'm going to post the B footage or B-roll footage so you guys can see the the um, macro footage that I've added in. But otherwise, that's pretty much it for this review on this webcam on the on the Inker Power Conference C300. And I'll have Amazon links in the description below. So make sure to check that out. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace. So up close guys, this is what the webcam looks like. As you can see, let me zoom out a little bit. So this is the webcam and if you look closely, this is where I added this is where I added that slider that I was talking about before. They give it's like a sticker, they give it to you. 
and you basically stick it on and then you can cover up your webcam. You have a privacy cam right there, a little privacy option. The weight of the webcam is quite significant. It's not light, but it's not heavy. It has that nice premium heft to it, if that makes sense. It's got that nice hinge uh, monitor attachment where it doesn't actually stick on your monitor, it just kind of holds on your monitor. And you can stretch it out. You have that little smaller hinge all the way at the bottom, like you do on the many Logitech webcams, as well as some generic ones. And you also have a tripod attachment here where you can essentially add this to a tripod if you wanted to do so. And that's what it looks like from the back. You have that USB Type-C plug-in comes with this cord, you just plug it out, and that's USB Type-C, plug it in when you want to hook it up, and that's what it looks like, and you can turn it, twist it, you can pretty much do a lot of activities with it, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's feels quite premium, it's got the dual microphones there. And then you have the LED notification light, so when it turns on, you are notified when it's on. And yeah, that's what it looks like, pretty much. And at the other, at the other end of the cable, you have this adapter that anchor ships out so for example if you're going to use this on your macbook or any laptop that only has the usb type c you have that option to also use the type the standard type a ports with this little adapter here that anchor ships out with the webcam so you just plug it in and there you go you just plug it into your computer and this webcam is a plug and play so you just take this webcam you plug it into your computer you start up the webcam app and it should work right off the bat no firmware or nor no, oh, sorry no firmware and no download requirement though you may want to upgrade the firmware with this webcam and you would do that by downloading the anchor work software and then you can have the other options to tweak this webcam as well, so you're not limited to only the Windows uh, camera app. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side, peace.